Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're going to be doing some benchmarking on Lenovo's X1 Yoga uh, video multitasking, multimedia, uh, a lot of processing, a lot of benchmarking we're going to be doing today. Uh, so let's actually get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do for our benchmarking is boot time. Let's see how fast this guy boots up. So I got my nice little stopwatch right here, and the power button is actually located on the right hand side. So let's get going. Let's start this up and one two and three okay so looking at the time it looked like it took about 15.52 seconds to actually boot to the desktop okay so let's get down into uh, 3d rendering how well does this laptop perform with 3d rendering so i'm going to run the opengl and see how well it runs okay so sidebench r15 gave it a score of 24.71 frames per second you using OpenGL and it ranks six with the top eight uh, that they have listing right here for, for the ranking. So let's actually run uh, the CPU and see how well that works. Okay, so it looks like the CPU rendering with Sidebench R15 is completed. It still ranks seventh. It looked like it went down one slot, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, it, it doesn't look like the Lenovo X1 Yoga is classified as a great rendering laptop. Don't get me wrong, you could get by, but don't expect to get those renderings done quickly. So for our next test, I like to do multi-processing. And for our multi-processing, I like to do is handbrake and convert an MP4 file to an MKV file, and uh, it's a 4K. And we have iTunes. Uh, which we have about, I say, 10 songs that we like to convert into an ACC version. So I'm going to do a Control A to select all that. And within our handbrake, we're going to go to Source. We're going to open for one single file. We're going to go inside our desktop, 4K file. This is 4K, so I'm going to right click on it and go to Properties. I want to show you guys the details. This is a 3840 by 2160 file resolution. So we're going to open that. Awesome. And we want to change it to an MKV file. And the video format, we are going to, let's say, change the source to maybe 24 frames per second rather than the 30 frames per second that it had. And we are going to drop it inside the desktop. Let's go to the desktop, drop it in there. Final uh, convert. MKV, hit save. So from here, we're going to basically go to file, convert, create AAC versions, and we're going to go inside start, and we are going to start our stopwatch. All right, guys, so it's done. It took about six minutes and 39 seconds to complete uh, 10 mp3 files and convert them into AAC versions within iTunes as well as have handbrake running at the same time converting a 4k file mp4 file to an mkv file and then we're changing the frame rate to 24. It took about I would say close to seven minutes. Okay for our next test we have image processing and we have Photoshop right now. I have about uh, I would say 48 images between the size of two megabytes to three megabytes. I took it with the iPhone 6 Plus and we are going to convert or use an action within the Photoshop to do four color quadrant. So let's go inside file and let's go inside scripts image processor. We're going to choose that folder, that image folder within our desktop right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to save it in the same location. We're going to save it as JPEGs. We're actually going to change it to 12. And we're going to run an action. And the action that I like to pick is the quadrant uh, colors. And let's bring up our stopwatch. Awesome. And let's hit run and start. Okay, so it's completed. It took about 2 minutes and 35 seconds to convert 48 images taken with the iPhone 6 Plus and uh, it looks like it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. So here goes the files and uh, they look pretty pretty legit, look pretty cool. Okay, for our last test we have video processing and I have uh, Adobe Premiere. Pro and I imported our 4K file. As you guys can see, it's only about a minute and 46 seconds long. 
and the resolution is 3840 by 2160 and the frames per second is actually 30. So what we're gonna do is gonna convert this down to a 1080p and drop down the frames per second to see how long it would take. So let's uh, right click on this. We're gonna create a new uh, sequence out of it. Awesome. We are going to go to file and we are going to do export to media. And we want to do is going to do a H.264. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and pick uh, 1080p, YouTube standard. Okay. So we are going to do a 1080p, 23.96. Okay. We're changing the frame per second and we are shrinking it down. It's supposed to be uh, 105 megabytes. And I'm going to drop this inside the desktop and call it uh, YouTube and call it YouTube final. Awesome. And we are going to leave all the default settings as is, but we're going to change this to one pass and we are going to start a timer and we're going to export and start. Okay. So our video processing is completed, rendering a 4k file shrinking it down to 1080p and also reducing the frame per second took about nine minutes and 22 seconds close to 10 minutes uh which is not that bad for the laptop i'm super surprised that the laptop didn't blow up okay with all the rendering and the processing stuff that we've been doing with the laptop how's the temperature now this is the area that gets really warm when you're constantly using it and i have a uh, infrared thermometer and i'm just going to shoot it and it is running 103.6. So that's pretty, it's pretty high, but it doesn't really feel like intense burning. Uh, this part also is a little warm and this is where the display is at. So we're gonna shoot it. And it's actually only running 90.6. And that's it guys for our benchmarking of the Lenovo X1 Yoga. Uh, great laptop, uh, but I don't think it's the kind of laptop that I would use for rendering my videos for you guys. Uh, especially that I'm pushing out a lot of 4K video. Uh, I don't think this guy would really handle it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.